Happy New Year's, everybody. Now, the first question I have is, are you a resolution person, a New Year's resolutions person, or are you one of those people that doesn't even bother? If you are a resolutions person, how are you doing? How are your resolutions going? Are you following through? Are you working out? Are you eating better? Are you reading the books you wanted to read? Are you exercising? Are you doing all the things that you had set in your New Year's resolution? Or are you more like me? I myself am not really a New Year's resolution guy, but I do like to spend the end of the old year and the beginning of the new year reflecting on the past year and setting goals, aspirations, dreams for the coming year. I find that when I set goals and don't really make them resolutions, I tend to have a lot more success in attaining those throughout the year. But I also know that whether you call them resolutions or goals or hopes or dreams or aspirations, it takes more than just stating those things on New Year's Eve or close to New Year's Eve. It takes more than that. There's actual work. There's a little bit that you need to put in to actually increase the likelihood that you'll be able to attain some of the things that you hope for yourself in the coming year. Now I've put together a simple, easy little worksheet that you can follow, that you can do to help you within 15 minutes to create goals, aspirations, resolutions, whatever you want to call them for the coming year. And I'm here in this video to share that with so you. So again, I want to make this as easy as possible because sometimes a barrier to making a resolution or setting a goal for something that you like to achieve, sometimes a barrier is the procrastination or the hesitation to sit down and do the work of developing that plan. However, what I have found is that if you can get it done within a relatively short time frame, it's much more likely that you will follow through with this. So this is gonna be a short and easy process that's five steps on how to set attainable goals, resolutions, hopes, dreams, aspirations for the coming year. So let's get started. So the first part of this process is to keep in mind this that this is meant to be a simple process. This should not create stress or agitation for you. It's really meant to be something that you can create clarity for yourself, that you can create a path towards your desired goal. It's not something that's supposed to be super complex and layered and very detailed. This is just a simple, easy way for you to develop a clarity in your path moving forward towards your goals. So now, keeping that in mind, let's start with the first of three concepts for this framework. The first thing is just to think about what do you want for yourself at a high level in the coming year? Stay away from the details, don't get into the weeds, just stay at a high level in this first part. It could be something like, I wanna be healthy, or I wanna spend more time with my partner, or I would like to have more success on my job. Something very high level, very general, no details yet. Just think of it and get that concept into your mind. What is it that you want for yourself in a very general sense to start with? Now, once you have a pretty good grasp, a pretty good idea of what you want for yourself at a high level, then start to think about things that were, are gonna challenge you. What are the goals that you have for yourself that will be somewhat of a challenge? Now, when I say challenge, I don't mean come up with ideas of things that are super hard that you're never gonna get to. But I also don't mean to come up with ideas that are super easy, that for sure you're gonna attain them maybe six months in. When you think of what you want to challenge yourself with, think of some things that you'd like to accomplish that you may or may not get to at the end of the year. So for instance, I personally might say something like, I wanna lose 50 pounds by the end of the year. Now, for some people that may be pretty easy in 365 days, for some people it might be near impossible. I need to know myself well enough to know, is this a realistic challenge that's gonna be hard for me, but it is realistically attainable. I'm not saying whether or not that is the case in this example, but that's just the way you need to think about it. What will be a challenge, but realistically you can attain it. And the last concept to keep in mind as you go through this process is be kind to yourself. Don't put too much pressure on yourself in this. If you do, if you make this too stressful of a process, if you do make this process too challenging, too hard, too difficult, you are likely not gonna even finish this process, much less work towards those goals that you have for yourself at the end of the year. So be kind to yourself. In a nutshell, I would say, 
be patient with your own process. Okay, so now it's time for the nuts and bolts of this process. There are five elements to this, and if you think about these, if you work through these, it should still keep you within about 10 to 15 minutes to get this process done and realistically start that work towards your end of the year goal. So number one, ask yourself who you want to be and what you want your life to look like in the coming year. Creating goals and resolutions is really about transformation. It's about development, it's about advancement. So in this coming year, think about just what is it that you want for yourself? It could be financial, it could be health-wise, it could be with relationships, but think in the first part of this process, what is it that you want for yourself? Maybe define a few areas, a few domains, health, money, relationships, education, define a few areas and think what you want for yourself. Or keep it general, just a few concepts about what you would like to see for yourself, for your transformation, your personal development over the next year. Once you have that concept in your mind of who you hope to be in a year, it's time to start doing some actual work. I know I mentioned several domains that you might want to consider, but in this part of the process, step two, I want you to identify three goals that you have for yourself. Again, this process is about keeping it simple, not getting too detailed, not getting too overwhelmed. Three goals that you have for yourself by the end of this year. Now, before you finalize your three goals, you need to determine whether or not they are SMART goals. If you're not already familiar with the concept of SMART goals, it's going to be available to you in the worksheet that comes along with this process. I won't take time in this video to describe it because many of you already know what it is, but if not, when you get the worksheet that I'm providing here for you, you'll see just what those SMART goals are and how to develop them. So once you've gone through step one, identifying who you want to be in the coming year, what transformations you want to make. You've gone through step two, developing three goals for yourself. You've gone through step three, making sure those goals are SMART goals. All right, I'll give you a little hint what SMART goals are. I won't spend too much time on it though. There's sometimes a little bit of variance in what people consider this acronym to mean, but essentially SMART goals are specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and time sensitive. Or sometimes we say timely. Now usually when you hear about SMART goals, that's where it ends. The goal is a SMART goal. Specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and timely. But this is where I go a little bit deeper and I think it's a critical part of this five-step process. So part of this step three is not only developing SMART goals, but it's developing SMART action steps for those goals. Now that you will find on the worksheet and that I'm not gonna give you in this video, you'll have to find that on the worksheet. So where are we right now in the process? Well, you figured out, you put some thought into who you'd like to be in the next year, what you would like to transform into, how you'd like your life to change or improve in the coming year. You identified three goals for yourself. You made sure that those goals were SMART goals and you made sure to develop some SMART action steps to go along with those three goals. No more than three. We want to keep it simple. So what are the last two steps of this simple five-step process? One thing that we know about goal setting, making resolutions, whatever you want to call it, is that if we don't intentionally schedule regular check-ins on our process, that's where things just fade away. That's where the gym membership just fizzles. That's where the calorie counter on your cell phone kind of fades away. If we don't figure out a way to schedule consistent, regular check-ins on our process, we're less likely to have success. So step number four is to develop some process, some system to have regular check-ins on your process. And when I say process, I mean those three SMART goals and those three SMART action steps that go along with those goals. Are you doing the work to get to those goals? Are you doing the specific actions that it's gonna take for you to reach those three goals? That's what you should be checking in with every time you have those check-ins. They could be weekly, monthly, quarterly, whatever works for you. But you have to schedule in some regular check-ins to make sure that you keep yourself accountable. You can even work with someone else, work with your partner, work with a friend, work with someone to be an accountability partner, to work along with you, to make sure that you stay on track and help you, support you in your process towards reaching your goals at the end of the year. 
And speaking of the end of the year, we're now at step five, the final part of our five step goal setting process. And this is important because it's what motivates us to continue with the same goals going into the next year or maybe developing new goals to develop further, to have more personal growth, to become the person that we want to be. So step five is to celebrate your success. You're not likely to have 100% success in everything that you plan to do. It's possible, but chances are you will have some bumps along the way, and that is okay. It's important to recognize those challenges that came up for you, but even more so, it's important to give yourself credit for the successes that you did have, for the ability to overcome challenges, to overcome self-doubt, to overcome fear, whatever it is that tried to stop you along the way. Celebrate yourself and recognize that you were successful throughout the year in attempting to achieve and hopefully achieving all of the goals that you set for yourself. Now, when you get to the end of the year, I always find that that is a great time for reflection. You, you can reflect on your your past year in general, things that you are happy that occurred, things that you weren't so happy about, where you'd like to grow, or whatever it may be. Have that reflection at the end of the year. But then specifically, look at the goals that you set for yourself in this process and think about, do you need to maybe modify some of those goals or reset them and continue and move forward into the next year? Were some of those goals maybe not as realistic and as attainable or timely as you had thought, and you need to maybe rethink those and either modify them or create new ones. As you're giving yourself credit and recognition and celebrating your success at the end of the year, also take the time to think about where you wanna go for the coming year. Maybe you're done at the end of this year and you wanna take a break for that year and just live life as it comes to you. Or maybe you'll find success in this process. Hopefully you will, I think you will and you'll decide to go through the process all over again next year. Whatever it happens to be for you personally, there's a few things I want you to remember. Number one, goal setting, resolution making, thinking about aspirations and dreams, it's not really set to any particular time of the year. January 1st is arbitrary. It's, it really doesn't mean anything. It's a day we sometimes choose just because it kind of makes sense. It's a new Gregorian calendar year. But really, at any point in the year, we can choose to be intentional about the life that we want to create for ourselves and creating the plan to get us to that life. So don't really pay attention to the January 1st thing. It's fun to do it that way, but it can happen at any time. So don't get discouraged if we get into March and you haven't done anything yet, you can start then. And again, back to one of my original concepts for this process, don't put too much pressure on yourself. Make this easy, make this really fun, make it attainable. Don't put stress on yourself. If you're spending more than a half hour on this process, 45 minutes, an hour at the most, you're taking too long, It's you're making it too much. That you can still do it, that's just a different process. The one I'm talking to you about today is clean, simple, easy, 30 minutes maybe, knock it out and get, get going on the work. Okay, so I mentioned during this video that there's a worksheet that I wanna give to you, free of charge, no commitments, I just want you to have this to help you through this process. I'll leave the link for you somewhere here in this video or in my bio or my profile or my link tree or anywhere like that. But if you wanna just write it down, it's bit.ly slash set goals for 23. But I'll put it around here somewhere. You'll find it in my bio profile. You know where to look. So I hope this helps. You can get started with this at any time. It doesn't have to be complicated. It doesn't have to be time intensive. Simple, quick, clean, easy, get it done, and get moving towards the life that you want for yourself. I'll provide the link for you for the worksheet and all the concepts that we talked about. Just click on the link and I'll send you out the information to your email. And beyond that, I wish you the best for this year. Leave me a comment about what you want for yourself, what you hope to do, what you think of the process, and happy 2023.